I just want to do a short video on the PPS CO2 shells. So you've got on the side just there, you've got the filler valve. Um, so that's obviously where you fill it. Obviously, make sure you keep this clean with silicon oil every so often to make sure that um, that's basically kept clean and clear. Um, yeah, well lubricated. So to break these down and service them, you unscrew the bottom. They can be quite tight sometimes. Um, obviously, you want them tight to hold the gas. And inside here, you've got a rubber seal at the bottom which you'll see just there and again just just with that one again the same thing uh, apply some silicon lube to them um, these shells could probably all of it service they do hold gas um, but yeah you need to make sure they're serviced to make sure they do it reliably otherwise they can leak out as I said before these can be quite maintenance heavy so put a bit of silicon oil then essentially just get that around the around there and that's that bit done now inside here just pop it apart there you go. You've got the top of that assembly. And so this is where what essentially seals the, the gas in. And you've got inside there, you've got four little ball bearings. I'm not sure what size they are, but you can get them off Amazon or eBay pretty cheap. I think they're probably about four mil, um, four mil steel bearings. So if you need more, if you lose them, um, they're probably about you know, a couple of quid for 50 or so. They're not expensive, they're just generic ball bearings. So with those, I would get some silicon grease, not silicon oil, um, just to really pack those out. You can do it pretty rough like that and just literally just smear it around. Doesn't make too much difference. But generally speaking, put a healthy, healthy dose on those and that will just keep them well lubricated and keep them where they need to be. So that's that done. And again with that, you can put some grease around there. You can use silicon oil grease on those, it doesn't really matter too much um, what you use on these on these on these um o-rings so inside here you've got a stem uh that sits at the bottom of the shell like that but there and then you've got this spring here so that doesn't really need to come out i was showing you anyway but just make sure that that bottom bit there if you're not getting good air seal make sure this hole here on the inside is clear of any, any dirt because otherwise it won't seat properly uh, and that could cause you some problems so that's in that's all clean that's all lubed up that goes inside there and voila, and you just push it in so it sits in there. You'll kind of feel when it's in place. A bit of play in it still, but as long as it's sat below that lip there, you haven't got a problem. So now that can screw back together. We've already lubed that, so that's good to go. So just screws on clockwise, like so. I haven't got my CO2 charger handy, but I have got some gas here. And this has all gone to plan. This should now fill. You'd always get a bit of over with this. I always tend to find that they will always, generally speaking, uh, not form a tight seal. I don't think there's, um, I'll see if I can check some in or fix these for, I'll send these to you, but I don't, I don't think all of these have got a tiny one mil by one mil O-ring. So some of them, if they do do that, might need, might need a um, O-ring on that valve there, but they're literally 50p for like 10 or pretty more than that. But that should now be gassed. Um, so that will, if it's got pressure behind it, which it has, There'll be resistance on here. Um, so that will now be full of gas. And to prove it, that's now ejected out of gas. Um, so you'll know when they're loaded, but you need regular maintenance on these. Um, CO2 works best beyond any airsoft gas. Um, I don't really think they work as well without um, without the CO2. So yeah, get yourself a CO2 charger. Um, you get them off eBay or China, take a bit of time to arrive, but they all play the same thing. The best one out there is the Tag Innovations one. Um, they're absolutely awesome, uh, but they're a bit pricey. They're like 70 odd quid. Um, but yeah, so that's how you do the shells. Hopefully that's been helpful to you. Any questions you've got, let me know. Um, I will have to degas all of these price postage so they won't come gassed up. Um, so yeah, you'll need to regas them when you get them. Although I don't think these particularly need to be kept sealed. So if you don't want to gas them until the night before game day, then fair enough. But that was just a, a bit of a advice I thought I'd give you of these. Hope that's been useful. Cheers.